I just bit the bullet then, bought this thing, Star Flyer. It's uh, only nine bucks, so there's the wristband. Proves I've bought the ticket. I'll be proving to you that I'll be up there soon. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna take a look at some of the guys riding first. Not that I don't wanna go on this ride, I do, but I just want you guys to see other people on it from the ground perspective before I go on it. I'm not chicken or anything, okay? Don't think that, because I'm not, all right? Also, nine bucks. I'm from Yorkshire, nine bucks. You can't odds it when it's usually 15. This is the little star flyer area over here. There's a star bar, that's not open at the moment. You can get beer and soft drinks and stuff in there. This is the ride entrance right here. So once you've bought your ticket, this is where you come to get on the ride. Over there is where you buy your tickets, where it just says star flyer there. And then you've got hagen next door. And then you've got the infamous tourist info shop next door. So, like I said, I'm gonna watch these guys go first. You can see how they scream. And then we'll see how I scream. Yep, the screams have started. There's actually a bunch of kids on there. You can see that on the ground. And this thing is going to swing out quite a lot, actually. And that's the bit that kind of unnerves me a bit. It's not the fact that you know maybe two or three hundred feet in the air. It's just what the heck is going on when you're up there. And that that is yeah. That's pretty far out, isn't it? This is as far as this camera will zoom in, and it's still quite small. <laughs> so that'll be me in a minute. Happy days. They're coming down now. A few of them are saying they want to go again. Okay, great. That's kids for you. Yeah, I'm cleaning all the seats down. Which is great. Good news. I'll tell you what, those seats look exactly like the ones that are in the local park when you push your kids around on swings that go like two feet off the ground and no more than maybe six. And they're going up there. Right up there. They're missing out every other one for safety. This is where you pop that in and that's that's it right that's it there's no no shoulder strap no shoulder strap no nothing you've got a little chain look a little chain you've got a little bit of this going on and then you've got that up there going on there, there is a bucket for your stuff you can't have anything in your pockets nothing at all in your pockets um, so i've just put my keys in there i did put my wallet and everything else in the car so i just have my keys obviously if you're with if you're with a party then you can do as you please you know if people are gutless enough that they won't come on then they can sit on the seats out there and you can give them your stuff but um yeah here we go i guess at some point soon i like the fact that even though they're way more than six feet apart these things that they're only putting uh two people in every other one of these To be honest, as I've got older, my taste for heights has got less and less. And I don't mind being in aeroplanes because I'm in aeroplanes a lot. But stuff like this, no! even like the Ray, Hulk Jordan. with my head bouncing about, gives me a bit of a headache afterwards. Um, okay, Ryan, yeah, I used to go on building sites in the Middle East. Building sites were like 50 stories high. Didn't really care. Hello. Ah, uh, there is. Okay, beautiful. Thank you. It is. Nothing at all, it's in there. Thank you. Okay, so I was wrong. There is a, a safety strap. Oof, thank God for that. Okay, that makes me feel quite a lot better. You don't get them at the park. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So I don't know what we're going to be able to see from up here, but it's, uh, it's going to be good, I think. Here we go. I just got a glimpse out there, the wheel. I just got a glimpse of the balloon actually at um, Disney. There's Volcano Bay. Oh my God. Okay. We're still going up. 
still going up. We're going out. Oh my word. Okay. This is uh, yeah 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 yeah. All right. Uh, didn't know that was going to happen. We're kind of swinging, uh, not in a straight line. Oh my crap. Oh sh. Okay. Now this is uh, yeah. Not what I expected. And uh, yeah, not not wholly, not 100% enjoying this now. Uh, if you've got wind in the camera. I've also got some, so bear with me. Whoa. Shit. this camera, even though I've got a wrist strap. Oh my word. Yeah, the wind up here is something else. Even though I've got a wrist strap, I'm ripping this camera for dear life. Yeah. Uh, now, so the, the second ride is only five bucks, and they can keep it, right? They really can keep it. Uh, I, know, I can do how I'm up here. So I'm just gripping on. Uh, I'm, it's a, a bit of a white knuckle ride. Oh my. Okay, no, sorry for that. Part of my French, I'm going to leave that out a lot, but. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay, this uh, is an experience. Um, if you've never done it before, then it is an experience. I think we're coming down now. So I'm coming at the end of my experience. My mouth is very dry, is what I can tell you. Very, very dry. And there's only half weight in this thing. There's only me. I don't know if anybody else is just going to keep it straighter. Or whether I'd feel worse than I do now, thinking there's, I'm like 10 stone. No, I'm more than that. I'm, I'm, I'm coming up to 180 pounds. So if there was somebody else 180 pounds next to me, I don't know whether I'd feel better or worse. Oh, okay. I'm feeling much better now. Much, much better. That wind's kind of dropped. And uh, we're coming back to Earth. Yeah, all right. So. Um, yeah, glad I did it. Glad I, I seem to have survived it, at least. Uh, I nearly have. Um, I'm glad they're sanitising the seat after me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the ground, I think. Here we go, here we go. She's ready to clean up again. The lady there is doing a good job in cleaning. You've got to sanitise your hands before you come on and you've got to give the white ticket to the attendant, the ride attendant, even though you're wearing the, the orange band. That just means that you can ride, I guess. And uh, the white ticket means that you've paid. And then if you pay your five dollars, then they know you've paid again. So even though you've got a lap strap and you've got what, well, like a chest strap and a lap strap, it, it isn't like, even on the fastest, most out there roller coasters, this is something uh, really, really different to that. You, you're just swinging up there. I, I think that's like 300 feet or something. So you're just swinging out a good distance from the center of that, by, held on by a couple of little chains and this little strap across your chest, and that's it. There is a feeling nothing like it. If you've not ridden this thing, even though you've, you've seen my reaction to it, I'd really give it a go now that I've done it. I'm not going to do it again, uh, but I've done it that once and that's, uh, yeah, that's um, something else. So yeah, please give it a go. If you like this, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll bring you more of this stuff, much more of this stuff as we get through COVID-19 and beyond. Okay, cheers for now. Bye.